Morning, everybody. Morning, Chef. How are we all? We're able to just get on and do some cooking. We're not tied down to a national curriculum. We're able just to, to teach the children how to cook food from raw ingredients, um, hoping that they'll be able to go home and replicate that. Young people need to learn how to cook. They need basic cooking skills. And being an academy, we were never constrained by having to follow the national curriculum for foundation subjects. <laughs> We opened in September 2007 and the purpose of having the academy was to replace what was known as one of the sink schools of Kent. We're incredibly fortunate to have this building. Uh, 38 million pounds worth of funding went into creating this school and uh, it's a lovely dynamic environment. The children really have completely changed since coming into this new environment and it's been a wonderful experience for everyone involved. I would love to see a Year Step 7 student progress all the way through coming to join me in this kitchen as a sixth form chef on my MBQ course. Everybody happy? Yes, well done, let's go. Our restaurant is open on Tuesdays and Wednesdays to the pay in public. Our students come in and they're given a full brief around the task board about what they're going to produce that day. We're preparing the, the tomato. This is for the chasseur sauce. We're just taking all the, all the seeds out. These tomatoes have been blanched. We're just taking the skin out, just taking the skin from them. On a Tuesday, they, they run through that dish with my full support and backing. On a Wednesday, they do the same dish, but this time it's on assessment. Which is, which is what they need for their portfolios. The front of house with Miss McCrell, it works pretty much the same. Good morning, Year 11s. We've got a full restaurant today, so we've got a lot to get through. A table of four, two tables of three, and then that only leaves us three tables of two. So what are we going to do about this? What's the solution? We wanted to get everything right in, in, the, in the first instance. I wanted to get all the equipment right, or all our, I wanted to just locally source raw ingredients. It's an amazing opportunity for him. Um, he, he's another young, young boy who's, um, who's looking to be a chef. And hopefully he'll progress on to come to join us on an MBQ course here. When he's in his sixth form, and, to come and, and go on to be a chef, that's what we're looking for anyway. At home, my grandma cooks quite a lot. Um, when I get bored, I used to ask my grandma to like, come and cook something. Uh, ever since like, I was little, I used to like to cook things and experiment with food. My teacher put me forward for this program and I thought it would be a good idea for me to learn like how the kitchen works and stuff. I mean, it's quite, quite a good experience I think and um, I've really enjoyed it so far so um, hopefully I'll come back here in like six form stuff and do courses to be a chef. We employed a team of chefs, professional chefs, so very highly qualified people from, from the field of, of catering, and that seems to have worked wonders. They're the laying the fish out, it's been nicely portioned, they've skinned all the fish, and now they're just laying the crust on there, ready to go through the oven to be baked, ready for 12 o'clock. They're doing a very good job at the moment. With regards to the licence to cook, we've taken it on in as much as all our year seven, eight and nine students are working towards a licence to cook. It's an amazing piece of technology, it's a government initiative and there's all sorts of resources online that, that children can use. It helps the children not only to cook, but it makes them aware of diet and nutrition, about health and hygiene and about shopping as well. If you work in a group of four, somebody's going to be stir frying, you prep your vegetables and you put them in order of cooking. They start with a fresh ingredient and then they work their way to producing a, a complete dish at the end. We did different, different types of stir fry. Some of them had black beans um, with garlic and, and chilies and the next lot had um, just like a wholesome sauce with just vegetables and they did their stir fry. I'm supposed to be getting all the stuff out of this pepper and then I'm gonna cut it into little small um, slices. It's really just the healthy option to make people eat more healthy things. Keith's stage three, they start at basic level. We start with the knife skills, then we work our way up to the raw ingredients to complicated dishes like stir fries and Thai curries. They're excited and it's nice to have all those lovely flavours that wouldn't normally be in contact with their everyday life. Look, you just pull off the legs like that, Lydia. I don't know. <laughs> right, when the pan is hot, you add your oil. One tablespoon. You saute your chicken first. This needs to be sizzling, boys, OK? Yeah. When you finish cooking it, move to the side of the pan and then add your garlic and ginger. When 
when it starts to cook properly to put all the vegetables in that in. Yeah, they're turning orange. Whoa! Look. Oh, they're really nice. But in a minute, we've got to put in some noodles. And then, Wesley, can you come and get some more sauces, please? Push it. Girls, you see that stock there? Can you bring it here and I'll show you what to do with it? Right, that's tofu. That's what they're using over there. The chicken looks quite nice, it's not pink. The noodles that look like the pasta, it smells really nice as well. It smells nice. Looks like they've got noodles you get. Right, all of you cleaning your desk down, please, thank you very much. If you have any knives, can you please bring them at the front? Lots of children often don't sit with their parents anymore because they have busy lives, so we're trying to encourage the children to sit and discuss and have talk about the food they're eating. So we're getting a, a sort of a family feel. It's spicy and hot because we put soy sauce in quite a and lot. And chilli, red chilli. And chili. we've got chilies in there as well. I like my students to be passionate about their food, their eating, everyday items they're producing and just going home and replicating what we do here and teaching their parents. When they finish their practical lesson, they have to do their theory part where they discuss how they can alter the dish, what they can add to it, um, change it, add their own own hallmark on dish, really. Do the first one where it says recipe. It's up on the board and then you add whether it was chicken, tofu or prawns. No, like planting. No, you can put planting in there. You need to fry your planting first. Planting? What the heck's that? The students are briefed by Miss McCrell um, that they take the food to the customers, they take the customers' orders, they deal with the customers, including taking money. This is um, today's menu. OK, steamed mussels in a light curry sauce. And what do we need to prepare when somebody orders mussels? Finger bowl. Well done. We're all ready to go. They're straining at the bit now, ready to start ser serving our customers. Yeah. Everybody, we've got ten minutes till service now. Would you please check your sections? Make sure you've got all your spoons, your ladles, your trays. Make sure you're happy with what you've got. Make sure you're totally on plus now, ready for service, OK? Let's make it good. Let's make it professional. Let's make it slick. We all know what we're doing. Is everybody happy with that? Yeah. Well done. Let's have a good one. Is that good? Yeah. When the guests come, they, then the office calls up to the restaurant and we walk down to collect the customers and then we bring them up to the restaurant. Thank you. Thank you. Check on. Away when ready. Two soup. On order. Two, two cod. Two veg. Oh, I had the pepper and tomato soup to start. It was fantastic. Normally with a tomato soup, overshadows the, the flavours. But you could taste the pepper, you could taste the tomato, you could taste the seasoning. It was, it was perfect. Very enjoyable. One cod, one chicken and two veg. I had the cod, um, and the, the combination of flavours there were wonderful. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it, uh, very generous portions as well. I am a bit of a fish person, I do like fish, but it certainly the way it was presented, it gave you ideas to do it yourself like that. I had the raspberry um, meringue, that was still warm, oh, it's to die for. Daniel encouraged us to come in. He's explained what the meals are like. I think he understated it a little bit, really. But I do think it's good. I know the school's very keen on vocational, practical um, skills to be taught to the children, and I think I think it's something that all children should experience. Can I just get you to fill in the question? Sure. It must give the sort of kitchen staff a certain uh, satisfaction with all the feedback, good feedback coming to them. This is our first time, actually, but it won't be the last. <laughs> Not all schools have the facilities that, that we have here, because we have the most amazing facilities. I would say to schools, if they wanted to get involved in cooking, perhaps they could get involved with a school that's very close to them, or maybe they could just start from the raw ingredients, show students the raw ingredients, how to prepare them, basically. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
they can start with things like making um, crudities, which is just chopped up vegetable sticks and buy ready-made sauces so the children can just investigate the food and get accustomed to eating fruit and vegetables every day. S smell it, touch it, start off with that. Lots of children don't like f you know, vegetables because they don't smell things. They just put things straight into their mouths and they need to be smelling things more. Today, we're going to be making green curry. All of you will have some sweet potato, which we covered already. Yeah, you know, you've tasted that. And some of you will have an aubergine. We haven't cooked with an aubergine before. And we're going to be using some herbs. That's coriander, which we've already used. And we've got some lovely basil here. Thais, instead of using spices, they use lots of herbs. Go on then. Since we live in a multicultural society, it's nice for the student to see what other people eat and how they go about a dish. My best food that I would probably like is curry. I like making curry. Um, sometimes I cook at home. I've cut things up and now I'm just soaking them in water. Yeah, you've been confident. You're the cook. You, you do it, yeah? You do what you think. The thing is, I'm stirring some onions and some leaves here. I just need to put these in. I think everything's going well. I just hope it tastes nice. Who's got chicken? They have. You can put your chicken in now. Right, can you add your coconut milk in now, please? Right, some fish sauce going in there. Do you want to add it in? You smell it. It smells very strong. It smells like fish like. It's like really hot and you can feel the spiciness in that. I think if, if teachers needed um, a hint on taking any shortcuts, I think preparation is the key. A little bit of mise en place just to get themselves up and going. So when their students come in, they're more than ready for them and they can start the lesson in a, in a good and positive manner. No very spicy and crunchy and tasty. Right, shall I raise it up, the method? Come on, we need to get writing. Come on, you need to be taking your aprons off, you'll be late for your lesson. Um, OK, everybody, well done for that today. I thought that was really, really good. I was really, really proud of you all. The service was, was excellent, the food was nice and hot, and I've had some great customer comments. I think the, the kitchen here is, is very, very inspirational to, to our younger students. Indeed, we had two Year 9 students working in here today, and they absolutely loved it. You could tell they had the, the passion, the desire, and they got on so well, I was very proud of them. How did you all think that it went? Like, everything was a bit hectic, but apart from that, it was really good. <laughs> a couple of nice customer comments here. This, this one says, a professional yet friendly, comfortable service, excellent food, wonderful and attentive staff. We will come back again with more friends. Um, really, really well done to you all. Very proud of you. Thank you very much indeed. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs>